Shalom brothers and sisters. So if you've been watching and looking carefully, especially around the Vatican and the Catholic Church, you would have known about Mount Graham and the Lucifer telescope, which they have now publicly said is debunked. And they've changed the name of the Lucifer telescope to Lucy to try and make sure that this whole thing just goes away quietly. But Lucy, Lucifer still comes back to its original name like the Lucius Trust, which does a lot of the printing and paperwork and all those kind of things for the United Nations that used to be called the Lucifer Trust. And they changed that to Lucius to also get away from Christians pointing to the obvious. Now, bearing all of that in mind and that you can actually see the involvement clearly, the Vatican has now paid a gay pride and sex toy artist to design their Jubilee mascot their jubilee running from now into next year they recently unveiled the loose as the official mascot for jubilee 2025 designed by simone legno the italian artist behind the popular toki doki brand according to the daily compass legno's involvement has sparked controversy due to his connections with merchandise tied to gay pride events and a line of adult themed sexual products Critics questioned whether the Vatican's Dicastery for Evangelization, headed by Archbishop Rino Fischella, the organizers of the Jubilee, were aware of Legno's background and the associations his work brings. Observers noted that the characters bear a resemblance to Greta Thunberg, adding to the scrutiny around Legno's selection. So very interesting, but my number one point here is now they're trying to be relevant to the younger generation by going this route. But they name it Luce, Luce, Lucifer, like the Lucifer telescope that became Lucy. And now we have Luce. We can clearly see what you're aiming at. And they even say in the article that the name Luce comes from the meaning of light, just like Lucifer is light bringer. So they're telling you clearly and openly that this mascot is Lucifer clad in a yellow raincoat mud stained boots looks blood stained to me and a pilgrim's cross Luce's mission is to guide young pilgrims towards hope and faith with her trusty dog santino now again if i wrap those letters around i can easily find satan at her side shells glimmer in her eyes recalling the scallop shell of the camino de santiago an emblem of the pilgrimage journey. There's pagan connections to that shell too. Luce and her pilgrim friends, Faye, Shin and Sky, each outfitted in colored jackets, like the many colors of the pride rainbow. Luce's yellow sailor's raincoat is a nod to both the Vatican flag and to journeying through life's storms. The mascot's muddy boots represent a long and difficult journey while her staff symbolizes the pilgrimage towards eternity. Yep, it is a pilgrimage towards eternity, but uh, you might be heading in the wrong direction. So Fe is Fe, which is the chemical element of iron, which makes me think of iron mixed with clay. Interesting for a time such as this. Fe is also in other cultures pointing to fairies and all sorts of things like that. Jin is the root of physical and mental life in the Japanese explanation. If you go towards the Islamic explanation, a Jin is a demon in Islam. Sky, a region of space above the earth or air. Someone who wants to be a prince of the air. And then loose, light or Lucifer. So hey, well done guys at the Vatican doing a stellar job setting up the final week of mankind. It's really not even playing around or in the background anymore. It's in your face to the point that they even tell you where the root word loose comes from, which is light, which you just tack on the rest now and discover exactly who they're presenting to you with these lovely scallop shells in its eyes. We are not long for this world. Articles like this should make you seriously excited for how close we are to hearing that trumpet call. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.